Hello everyone, in lecture 5 and the second part of it, I will continue what I started in the previous lecture, lecture 4, and showing you the different method of uh, drawing a plan. In the previous uh, lecture or previous uh, video part, I explained the line type, if you remember, and the line weight, and then before, I was talking about the first and the easiest method to draw this uh, types or this type of plant where you know it's an ex external dimension provided and there is no columns and there is no walls and basically all uh, available or basic available for external dimension. In this video, the second part of uh, lecture five, I will depend on drawing, uh, showing you actually the second method of drawing by having you know columns. Uh, sorry, by having uh, grids, but those grids are to describe the center location for the walls. So this is a load-bearing walls again, and there is no columns in this document, which is the make difference between here. It's just uh, it probably goes for existing, not a proposal one, where there is no grid in this document. So if we have a grid only, no columns, what we do, of course, as long as we saw the grid, so we have to start with them, and I'm gonna start drawing uh, grids uh, here, uh, picking here again layer zero because I depend on drawing this on layers, which I'm gonna explain soon as I said. But for you, I'm gonna start that uh, exercise without layers. Uh, first, I'm gonna go a line, and uh, before I will look at how much an estimation of how long that line might be. And uh, I see that it could be longer than 18, which is the biggest thing here. So probably I go like uh, 20 like that and of course it's a small number so units should be meter don't forget that uh, probably we need to offset uh, 5.1 uh, to the right and then offset uh, 3.7 as I see in this document now uh, again you can put your hand whatever you want in here and then draw a horizontal line don't forget to hit F8 to make it uh, for sure that it's uh, ortho is on and then you hit uh, offset to 3.8 and then another offset of six. So that's basically it. That's the grid system that I have. I can draw a circle here, and I will move that, you know, from the quadrant to this point. Copy that with multiple, of course, on to the two location. Then copy all of those from the top quadrant down to fix that in here exactly. Uh, and again, another copy to this side. It will be a good strategy to create the line and then copy the entire line to the other side from the quadrant and instead of drawing them one by one. Now, I'll select those guys and then, uh, you know, hit LT. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> LT. And I loaded this guy here, as you can see. If he doesn't, you hit load and then select this guy only. So I loaded the line type, as you can see. I can just apply it and then with LT scale, LTS space, I use 0.05 for the line type scale in order to be seen. Now I can select all of them and I change the color into red and again the color and the line type will be soon be applied and used based on using layer instead of this individual. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, doesn't have a, just a continuous line type while well, this guy here is also red, like this one, but it have a, a dash dot as a line type for it. Now, I'll just offset, and we need to know how thick is the wall. It's 0.2. So offset 0.1, in this case up, and then offset 0.1 down. Uh, this is uh, one of the method we can draw that with. And as you can see, I'm um, offsetting all walls, uh, all our center line, both sides, to get our walls, uh, you know, created. And as long as it's 0.2, so that's why I picked half of it, 0.1. Uh, now I can change that line back into yellow and a continuous from here, but a good other way, which is a lazy way, which is match a property here, as long as I have it, I select the source and then, you know, I apply that setting to the lines that I want. Now, it's an L-shaped building, as you, as you might see, and probably I have a mistake here. This guy should be in here, anyway. So let's fix this mistake in this one. 
And now uh, all I have to do is use F space, R space, zero space, and M space again, or you can just accept the F, M space, the default value, accepting that the radius is zero at the beginning. Follow the outside perimeter, guys, like this. Ignore this one. Outside perimeter of the external walls of this building. And we can go ahead and, you know, this guy and this guy, this guy and this guy, as you see. And here. As you can see, now it's fixed itself and nice and beautiful. Um, probably we need to extend those guys here. So extend space to space. So uh, just, uh, you know, this guy here and this guy, and then trim space. I'll remove that guy and that guy. And now we have the L shaped building uh, almost ready, except I think we need to push that that way also. I just forget that. Trims. And that's it. Uh, all I need now is to, you know, create the door opening, of course. Or I can just go ahead and draw the oh uh, the the fence. And uh, you know, you might notice I didn't start up with them this time. And rather instead, I'll just have said this line that word four. So offset four guys, and you know, four side like this. Would be a good way. It's a good thinking uh, to connect those lines to define the outside boundaries of the land, and then offset that again. Point two. With another fillet here. So that's it, almost, guys. That we draw. The outside walls, the outside boundary here, I, I fixed the mistake that I have. This guy here should be here again, like this. So all this is a load-bearing wall system. The center line here of the grid is for the the walls. It's exactly in the middle of walls. And now I can go ahead and add, uh, you know, the door opening and then design the doors, copy them, and then make the opening for the window and then design one window and, you know, copy it. Uh, that's the second method guys that we uh, can depend on when we draw uh, Or that's the second case that we can see when we design uh, or when we you know work in architectural field and when see a plan that have only grids and Some very few basic dimension to describe the windows and the doors location right rather what uh, we have in the previous case where there is no grid lines just an external dimension Rather, this method is just based on, you know, uh, grid, the existence of grid lines that you need to be, you know, deal with them in order to create your document. Anyway, I wish that you find this uh, video useful, and I will explain the third method in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good night. Bye-bye.